But sometimes I, I, they book Ian and Ivan on the same bill and they go, oh, we'll put an act on between, between you. And I went, no, it doesn't matter. I can just be Ivan Brackery now and then I can be Ian de Munford. And it's literally, I need a millisecond just to change from one to the other. I suppose the, they're just little switches in my brain. So I can just go like that. I always start with um, a kind of a, a big idea or a high concept. So with Ivan Brackenbury, the original idea was to um, DJ live in front of the audience, play inappropriate records for for people's illnesses. But, you know, play all the jingles and everything, do it live. That was the original idea. And then <clears throat> what I quickly realised was that what people love is trying to work out the song and having heard the ailment, what's the inappropriate record, and they vaguely remember this song. and. And so that's the idea for that. The big idea for Ian de Montford was uh, there's a branch of magic called mentalism, which is um, the f most famous practitioner in this country is Darren Brown. I wanted to Tommy Cooper that up, so you think I'd be rubbish at it, but I'm actually really great at it. You want to know about um, children, yes? Yep. And the, the sex of your first child? Yeah. All right, lovely. <gasps> oh my God. Um, you, you, I can't right? believe it. What I do know is it's definitely going to be a boy what does it? Um, <laughs> oh the, um, someone will do a drawing and I'll recreate it. And um, what else? Um, so, so, yeah, people draw tarot cards from a bag the other side of the room and I'll tell them which ones they're taking out. Yeah, it's, there's quite a lot of um, what they call mentalism involved. And I just learnt it. Well, I learn new things for every new show, but I started learning it for the first one, which is 2010. Thank you. If I'm not getting it all right uh, and, and, and things aren't going well, please don't just blame the spirits. Um, <laughs> take some of the blame yourself, all right, because it's definitely, definitely a two-way thing. For example, someone will, I'll do a bit of reading for someone, and I'll say, oh, I'm definitely feeling that you've got an ante. And then everyone really laughs, because who hasn't got an ante? But then I say, who works in Timson's shoe shop, but she has a Tuesday off. And they go, yeah. And then it's great. So it looks like you're getting it wrong. And then you just, that's where your gasps are coming from. Because they're like, how the fuck did he know that? Is there a lady here whose husband likes beer? Does that make sense with anyone? Because <laughs> I've been doing um, kind of stand up, but as characters for a long time. But when it comes to things like, um, you know, the TV spots, they're all specifically geared up to just straightforward stand-ups. They don't like character comedy in those spots on the panel shows and stuff. But rather than get upset about it, um, I thought I'd just stick to my principles. I'll carry on doing character comedy. So my new, my new character is uh, an adequate generic stand-up. And I'm going to call it Tom Bins to trick people into thinking it's me. It's not. But um, it's going quite well. A lot of people say, um, Ian, when did you first learn you had a gift? And actually, I was doing my first year nursing exams when I realised I had these gifts. Those were the first time I ever heard the voices. And um, I went into these, I was so stressed and wound up about these exams. And I went into these exams and I heard these voices and they came to me and they gave me the answers to the test. Now, I wasn't scared. Um, I felt actually quite euphoric and so calm and as well. I wrote down everything they said word for word and I went out of that exam a changed man. Now, it turned out they weren't medically qualified. Um, <laughs> I, used, I used to be an adequate generic stand-up, uh, but I haven't done it since 1998. Um, so it's quite interesting starting with a clean sheet and going, no, this time though, rather than be a stand-up, I'm just gonna pretend to be one. 